And hello again, Anteater basketball fans. I'm Mark Roberts, delighted to be with our new head coach, first year head coach Russell Turner of the 2010-2011 UC Irvine men's basketball team. Coach, I, like many of the Anteater fans, are, are curious to find out how the first 10, 11 practices have gone. Uh, how do you like your team? What concerns you? What do you like? Has anybody uh, been a surprise? Those are, uh, those are all interesting questions. And, uh, it's, it's been a great 10 days of practice. Um, I've had incredible effort from my guys. That's the thing that's impressed me most. I think I got a lot of guys who can play. I got a lot of guys with the desire to play. Um, I've been really pleased with the newcomers, um, all of them really, uh, but especially with Maxime Chupin, who uh, we're still waiting on with his eligibility, uh, but also with, very much with Chris McNeely, uh, but also with Damon and uh, Damon Starring and, and Kevin Malloy as well. So those well, guys have all played well. Those four additions that you brought in are, are so encouraging, and uh, we know you're a great recruiter, so that's going to be fun. Now you have two, certainly, all-conference candidates uh, in Eric Wise and Darren Moore. Of the holdovers, uh, how have they impressed you, those two young men and, and some of the other guys who were here last year? Well, the three main guys I know I've got that I've got to get a lot out of this year are Eric Wise, obviously, uh, Darren Moore, obviously, and then also Pat Rembert. And uh, I'm hoping I'm going to get the type of years I expect from them after 10 days. And I know Eric is one of the top players in this conference. I expect him to have a tr tr tremendous year. And uh, really, I expect the same thing of uh, Darren Moore. He's been really good. Uh, his conditioning is at a high level. His attitude's good. And uh, Pat Rembert's been steady, steady Eddie, and really solid. Um, I'm expecting a great deal of leadership from him this year, and he's going to play a lot of minutes. Well, with head coach Russell Turner here, UC Irvine basketball fans, we are about two and a half weeks away from the home opener, which is actually a three-day tournament. It should be a lot of fun against the U.S. Naval Academy. But Russell, you're a week away from your only, uh, actually one of two exhibition games with UC San Diego. And let's talk about the non-conference schedule. You jump right into that. Okay. Illinois and USC out of the gate. Yeah. The likes of Wyoming, San Jose State, UCLA, Pepperdine down the road. You're not talking to anybody, are you? No, we shouldn't. I mean, you know, I've told my guys we've basically got a three-part season. We've got the non-conference schedule, the conference schedule, and then the conference tournament. And our goal is going to be to play playing really well by the time the conference tournament gets here. We know we've got challenges with our non-conference schedule. But I think every player wants that and wants to be measured against guys who are considered to be better. You know, I want to tap into that underdog mentality uh, and see what we can do this year. You know, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not going to duck anybody throughout my career here, but I'm especially not going to duck anybody now because I want to find out as much as I can about the competitors that I got. And I hear you're quite a competitor when it comes to uh, inspiring these young men to practice, that there's been some uh, real heavy competition. It's beautiful to hear about that. Russell, um, talk about the involvement of the university, the support of the students and our boosters, and, and how that adds to uh, the growth of this program quicker, sooner, rather than later. Yeah, well, I mean, I know there's a lot of people here who really want us to be a good team this year. And uh, you can feel that at Shocktoberfest. We had a great turnout. We had a lot of terrific energy in that building. Uh, but I felt it from our boosters, too. Uh, there are all kinds of people in this community who really want our team to be good. Um, I know that the more support we get, uh, the, you know, the, the more excitement there'll be in our gym. And if we can create excitement in our gym, we've got a better chance to win home games. You know, I've told my team over and over again, we need to be a group of guys that's easy to support. And I want our guys to be that every day um, around this community, in class, also with the way we play. And if we play the right way, I think we're going to get this, the type of support we need to grow as a program. Enthusiasm, the beginning of a new era, Russell Turner, and, and for these young men adjusting to you, you to them. Um, that's got to be an interesting chemistry. How, how's that all, all gone about so far? I mean, they didn't choose me. They've got to adjust to me. I think I'm very different than, than what they've become used to in a lot of ways. I'm probably similar in some ways, too. I don't know. Uh, but I, I've told them that my job is to make them uncomfortable and, and make them comfortable being uncomfortable. So, you know, there's, there's some growing that goes along with that. And uh, not, every, not every day has been a great day for every one of my guys. Not every day has been a great day for me. And uh, we're, we're going to continue to have to make that adjustment. This first year, especially, is going to be challenging on both sides of that coin. It's going to be challenging for me. It already has been. And trying to figure out what the, the right level of expectation is on a day-to-day -day basis is not easy. Uh, but it's what I signed up for, and it's what I'm excited to do every day. So it's going to be a fun journey. 
we uh, are all excited to see a new style, a different flavor of anteater men's basketball. And they're certainly going to get it. Can you give us just a little peek in the next 60 seconds of uh, yeah. what they might expect? Well, I do think we're going to try to play a faster pace. And uh, we're going to try to do that on offense and on defense. And I, I think that people will be able to recognize the change from me saying go, go, go all the time, trying to get guys moving faster. Uh, that's the direction I want to take this program long term. Uh, that's not going to be an easy adjustment. I mean, I, I see every day why the team played the way they did last year. You know, I see those things. And the coach that I'm following is a great coach. So we've got our work cut out for us to make this adjustment. It's got to be an adjustment that we commit to even when things don't go particularly well, which they're probably not going to go really well every night. Uh, but I'm excited about where we're heading. I think the players are too. That's, that's really what I get a sense of and what's given me energy after this many days of practices that we, you know, every day we're coming to work, we're working hard. I got guys who are worn out and they're battling through that, and all that's all that's part of growing to be better. And that's uh, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm having fun with right now. Sounds exciting, and we're really excited about you, Russell. Thanks. Thank you for making the choice of UC Irvine, <laughs> folks. It's going to be an exciting season, a tremendous non-conference schedule. The Big West is always up for grabs, no matter what they say. We have the right coach, the right young men. Come out and support this program early. And if you do, we'll do this again with Coach Turner. For Coach Russell Turner, for UC Irvine Athletic Department and Media Relations, I'm Mark Roberts. See you at the break.